right, we are now in our work session. I'm talking about the new City Council Agenda Management Software demonstration. Adrian, turn it over to you. Yes, thank you. Good evening, Mayor and City Council. Adrian Breitfelder, City Clerk. And as the Mayor mentioned, I'm going to be um, talking through some transitions we have with our City Council Agenda Management Software and going through a demonstration related to it. So starting off with a little bit of background, um, so the City Council currently uses Novus Agenda to digitally manage um, all of our City Council agendas. Um, it's the platform that we've utilized since 2011. However, Novus Agenda intends to be discontinued by the third quarter of 2025, which necessitated the need for uh, city staff to identify a replacement software platform. So our request for proposals, or RFP, was issued um, at the beginning of this year for a replacement system, and that RFP selection committee identified Civic Plus is um, agenda and meeting management select is the formal name of the software as the um, replacement agenda software. So just a little about mm -hmm. Civic Plus. They were founded in 1998. Their headquarters is in Manhattan, Kansas. They do have over 800 public sector clients using the software, so we feel very confident in their ability um, to deliver local government local government um, software based on their the number of clients that they service. Uh, they currently service um, 12 public sector clients specifically in Iowa using this specific software. And if you recognize the name Civic Plus, it might be because they are the um, website vendor for the city, um, have been the website design and support vendor since 2008 for the city, so very familiar with them. In terms of the specific go live plan for the transition, the new software will be used starting with the October 7th City Council meeting. So this is um, technically the last regular session City Council meeting that will be using Novus Agenda. We will post instructions for accessing the agenda on the city's agendas and minutes webpage. Um, I did think it was important to emphasize as part of this transition that we do intend to maintain the current schedule for posting City Council regular agendas to the public. That's currently um, Friday before the City Council meeting at 9 a.m., so we intend to maintain that current schedule. In terms of notifying um, individuals um, about the posted agendas, uh, residents currently have the ability to subscribe uh, via the Notify Me web portal um, to receive um, email notifications when agenda is published. And we're currently working with the Public Information Office to review if we continue using that option or if we transition to another option. Uh, the Civic Plus Agenda Portal does give city staff the, abil the ability to send a notification directly through the portal, which has its benefits, but it also has potential drawbacks. Um, residents would be required to create an account directly and Civic Plus in order to receive those notifications. So we do see that as a potential limitation and we're trying to weigh um, the option that would kind of balance being efficient for city staff while also being um, accessible to residents to the best of their ability. Um, we do intend, if we were to make a change away from the current subscription, we do intend to notify all current subscribers about that change so they would be made aware of any potential change. In terms of all documentation um, from past city council meetings, all of that information is directly accessible th through the um, Laserfish web portal from the city's website. So there won't be any need to um, conduct any sort of data migration of documents on Novus. Essentially, when we um, terminate the contract, all that information will just automatically go away because the um, information is already accessible uh, through that Laserfish web link. And then in terms of notification and sunsetting of Novus Agenda, um, the company that oversees Novus Agenda, Granicus, uh, just requires that we provide a 30-day minimum um, notice of our intention to terminate their contract. So the goal is that we intend to go through at least a few iterations of city council meetings um, with Civic Plus to confirm that that transition is um, successfully implemented before we formally con um, terminate the contract with Novus Agenda. So I'm looking at potentially um, um, sometime in November upon successful um, completion of the transition to Civic Plus. November is when we would look at contacting Granicus to terminate the contract with Novus Agenda. And so now I will um, uh, spend the rest of this presentation um, uh, taking you through what the public portal will look like um, for the agenda. So let me just pull that up. Oh, there we go. I think it's on here. Here, so I've just got to play around with a little on my screen here. 
Okay. Adrian, real quick. Eric, could you flip that switch, please, to give us the feed in the room instead of the live feed? Because it's hard to see for us. I, I can. Thank you very much. So the page that I'm currently showing you is essentially what the public portal is going to look like um, for the uh, agenda management system. Um, essentially, the way they have it configured is that each um, meeting is set up as an event, and then there is agen an agenda associated with each event. So what's nice is that when you access the portal, um, they initially will take you to the um, meeting time frame around the um, time frame of the current date. So it's showing me six, September 16th right now. Um, and then if you scroll down, you'll see future events. If you scroll up, you would see um, previous events. Um, I know that an agenda is published because I see um, there's this megaphone icon to the bottom right of the event that shows me the um, date and specific time that an agenda has been published. If I click on this download link, I have the ability to download either the agenda or the agenda packet. The agenda packet consists of both the agenda and all supporting attachments uploaded to agenda items. And then to access the agenda itself, I just click on the specific event, and it'll first show me the agenda page. I will call out that we are making a few minor updates to the agenda as part of the transition. The biggest one you'll notice is we do intend to replace the um, city seal with the city logo on the agenda. It's just more common practice for local governments to utilize the city logo as part of their agendas and increases branding consistency, recognizing that um, most people recognize this um, logo as the city of Dubuque. We've also consolidated the information for providing virtual public input. We think this strikes the right balance of being a little more concise while still providing the necessary information residents need in order to participate virtually. The roll call order for each council meeting is going to be moved below the public input section. This used to be placed at the very top of the agenda, but we feel like it's more important for residents um, to first recognize the logo and the meeting information as the first thing they see in the agenda. The other thing I'll point out, and this is one of the features I'm most excited about with the agenda transition, is the we have the ability as city staff to um, customize different sections of the meeting. Um, and so in this example here, you'll see that I have this specific section that I titled pre-meeting event. And I see this as being beneficial for um, the different static vehicle displays that the city will often host um, prior to a city council meeting. Previously, we always struggled with how to best um, advertise those on the agenda. Um, the way Novus Agenda was set up was that all of the um, meeting sections were hard-coded, so it was very challenging to create those um, specific customizations, especially because it involved the Novus technical team, whereas with the Civic Plus um, Select Agenda, city staff have that capability themselves. So I think it's going to make a much more accurate agenda. Um, we have a lot more ability to tailor agendas on a meeting-by-meeting -meeting basis as necessary. So for situations like these static vehicles, displays. This is how I envision them being promoted on agendas going forward. Otherwise, the um, layout pretty much looks the same. The only other thing I'll mention is that Civic Plus um, does a great job of ensuring that all agendas are ADA compliant in terms of their font size and alignment. And so they've provided feedback to us on that. And we're um, going to make sure that this agenda, and you can see the agenda here, um, does meet those ADA um, compliance requirements. Um, it's something that we're very grateful that Civic Plus um, uh, is encouraging uh, local municipalities to adopt in order to be um, as accessible as possible to all viewers of the agenda. So then in terms of other features, in order to view the agenda, you see that you have this page view up and down here. You have the ability to zoom in and out. There are some other features um, that residents might find um, fun to use. Um, you have the ability to add text to a certain document, you have the ability to annotate. I can see that being beneficial if someone wants to call out a specific public hearing that they want to attend. Um, and what's nice is that you have the ability to um, download that document and it downloads um, with all of the annotations that you made saved. So I think that could be a really, really fun feature for people to, to use and find beneficial. So that's the agenda page itself. And then also within this meeting file section, you have your agenda packet. And so that, right now, it's just asking me if I want to leave without saving any of the annotations I made, so I'll do that. 
And then the agenda packet, as I mentioned, consists of all of the um, agenda documents uploaded to the agenda following the agenda itself. Um, if you click on this toggle field view, you have a page view which shows you the pages for each of the agendas. And then this document view shows you each of the agenda settings and you can drill down further to a specific agenda item and then a specific attachment. And then if you click on that, it will take you directly to that attachment. Again, all the other features in terms of uh, zooming, making annotations also apply. What's also nice is that if you download the agenda packet, all of these overview um, settings save in your PDF viewer, so you also have the ability within your PDF to narrow down to these specific sections and can kind of make the agenda feel more organized, especially when our packets can contain hundreds of pages. This um, meeting overview is a bit more of a raw view of the agenda. I envision that most people will um, find most benefit using the meeting files view. As you can see with this view, it still mainly provides you with um, the title of the item as well as the links to the specific attachments. And then this share meeting view um, is how Civic Plus uh, provides as an option for individuals to be able to share the meeting. However, users are required to have a Civic Plus account in order to use that feature. So in terms of sharing a meeting, um, I would just encourage someone to just directly copy the URL from the meeting files view and they should be able to successfully share the meeting in that sense. And then I'll just take you back to the main portal web page. Just a few things to call out here as well. Um, you do have the option in terms of um, searching for specific um, meeting types. And you will notice when you look at this view that there are a few boards and commissions including as um, event types along with the city council. And the reason that's currently in place is because we do intend to have all of our boards and commissions um, utilize Civic Plus for their agendas in the future. Um, however, right now our main focus is making sure that the transition to city council agendas is a success. Um, so we're, we're not gonna see boards and commissions utilize the platform anytime soon. Our goal is um, at some point next year to focus um, specifically on that transition. Um, but we do have Civic Plus working on a few of the build outs of those boards and commissions, just part of their transition timeline with us. So that's why you'll see them there, but just know that that transition is um, in, the, in the future at some point. And then in terms of searching, um, there are a few different filter options for you to search under. Um, these three that are listed at the bottom um, are not ones that would apply for city council agendas. Those are specifically um, meant for live meeting features. That's an add-on package that the city does not have with Civic Plus. So usually those would not apply for any searches that um, residents would do. The main ones that would apply would be items, agenda files, and attachments. Item searches for any agenda items with that search term in the title. Agenda files um, searches for any agenda uh, related documents with that search term located in them. And then attachments search through any um, agenda attachments, any documents um, attached to that agenda item that have that search term. Um, so I would probably encourage most residents not to do any type of filter. Um, that way they can be successful with most of the the search options that they have. So I'll just show you an example with the demo agenda. I just searched for the term property and you'll see that it um, called out that this specific meeting that it has 11 results. You're able to see based on the icon what the specific results are associated with, either the agenda files, the attachments, or an agenda item itself. You have the ability to download each of these files or you can click on it directly and it will take you to that agenda item as well. The other thing that I think is great about this search feature is that if I return to this main menu, then my search results save. So you have the ability to search one document, go back, still have that same um, search saved and can search through multiple documents. The other thing, two things I actually want to call out about um, the public portal as well is that we're still working with the Public Information Office to determine the um, best way to 
incorporate this into the City of Dubuque website. Basically, our options are either to keep it as a standalone web page as you see currently, or we also have the option to embed it within a current City of Dubuque web page. And we're trying to be very strategic about that, again, recognizing that in the future we um, would welcome our boards and commissions to be utilizing this as well um, as a platform. So we're just trying to think through the best option in terms of, it location, of its location. But I will emphasize that um, regardless of, of how it's posted, it will be accessible from the agendas and minutes web page, which is how Novus Agenda is currently accessible. So it should still be very easy for residents to find. Other thing that I'll just mention before I open it up for questions is you'll notice it does say agendas and minutes. We do intend to have published minutes available as well. They would be similar to an agenda in that they are posted to an event. Um, I'm going to receive training on that module this week from Civic Plus. Um, so I'll have further information about that um, following that training and I will include instructions for uploading that um, how to access that um, from the Agendas and Minutes webpage, same as instructions for accessing the public portal. So I think that covered everything I intended to in terms of the public portal, and so I'd be happy to answer any questions. All right, thanks, Adrian. So just to keep in mind, this is, a, this is about the public facing part Correct. of this, not necessarily the internal facing that goes to staff or to us, um, you know, that we can access at other times too. Um, so just to make sure that our questions are around that. All right. Any questions? Any discussion? We know change is hard. It just always is. It's always a bit of a challenge, but I really like this interface. Um, you know, what I'm seeing here now, too, just playing with it this week to be able to see kind of how to get around. Um, it's different. It's definitely different than what we've been used to. But I think the, the more functionality that you're showing us, I think, could be really useful, especially um, in terms of being able to come prepared as a member of the public, I think it's going to be a really good way to, to use this. Well, the other thing I'll say, if there's no other questions then, is um, this process has been just really clean and tidy. Adrian, thank you very much for, for walking everybody through this so well. I think, you know, you had a good team um, of staff helping you along and obviously public information helping to figure out how to get it out externally and all those things, but we appreciate your work on it. It's, it, was a, it was a big change to have to make and you've been working on it for quite a few months now, so we appreciate all the work you've been doing. Mr. Thank Mayor? You. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, are we going to have some um, opportunity to ask questions about what we see at all? Is that coming up next or is that right now? So that's not this work session. Um, but Adrian, if you want to answer that, I, I know you mentioned um, we, we have an opportunity to talk with you directly if need be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say any other questions um, specifically about access um, to the various portals, um, you're welcome to send to me via email. Okay, I just have one, one quick question that we all are interested in. In the, in, the new, in the old one, if we took notes up here where it says view notes and then typed in those were, if I'm right, you could, those are public then, and they can be searched in FOIA uh, uh, for you. And when you talk about that and you mark things and you, you, does that mean that that is also public? The things that we mark on in our agendas, is it like this program, which would be, well, that's legally public and searchable. And so, I mean, I never use it because because of that, I just take my own little notes, but is it, is it, is it uh, the same? I would want to go back and look at the statute to see how it uh, treats things of that nature because there are certain protections out there for draft, tentative, speculative items. Um, attorney work product obviously is included in those things as well, so I can certainly take a look at that and get back to everyone. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. And there will be, um, you mentioned also that you're going to be sending all of us information about how to use it, sort of a step-by-step -step guide kind of thing, so we have that to access while we start to get used to this on our end. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's going to be, for the public portal, that will also be posted to the city's website oh, yep, with screenshots of basically, as well as the recording to this work session. Excellent. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. Well, I think that's all we have, so thank you very much for introducing us to this. We look forward to using it next meeting. Thank you. Uh, the next Next full meeting. We have a work yes. session in between now and then. <laughs> All right. Well, there being no further business in this work session, we will be adjourned till 630.